Hello, my name is Maria Villegas. As all of you might already know, I have talked to you in my class previously about who I am, a little bit about my family, and where I was born. I also discussed about what I want to do when I grow up, my education, where I am currently working. I also talked to you about my love for snowboarding and motorcycle riding, and my favorite TV shows. There have been many things I have discussed with you, so when I was thinking about the assignment, I wasn't sure what to talk about. Then it hit me. Since the holidays are just around the corner and Thanksgiving is in a couple of weeks, I thought it would be great to share with you my family traditions. To get a better understanding about family traditions, here are some examples. There are practices of beliefs, create positive feelings, they are repeated regularly, some are handed down from generation to generation, some are created with a single branch of the family, some are part of your cultural and ethical and ethnic heritage. Day-to-day -day interactions include dinner time rituals like sharing the best part of your day, bedtime rituals like reading a book, saying a prayer, weekend morning rituals like watching Sunday cartoons. Family traditions specific to your family also may include church on Sundays followed by a lunch or favorite restaurant, vacations to Myrtle Beach or to Outer Banks, weekly or monthly family meetings, pizza nights every Friday, visiting out-of-town relatives over the summer vacation. Celebration traditions include special events like birthdays when they're celebrated, where holidays are spent, and who they are spent with, how anniversaries are celebrated, some extended family traditions, vacationing together, Sunday dinner at grandmother's, Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving dinner. My family tradition that I will be talking to you about is Thanksgiving and our annual Christmas tree cutting. Every Thanksgiving we have a brunch. My grandmother is in charge of making the turkey and my mom is in charge of the side dishes and desserts. We eat the appetizers first, such as the cheese and crackers and fruits. Then we eat the turkey when it's ready. My immediate family comes over. We all have a wonderful time talking at the dinner table. Then in the end, we sometimes eat dessert if we are still hungry enough. If a football game is on, my dad and my uncles and brothers all watch it after. It's always a wonderful day filled with laughs. After every Thanksgiving, it's been my family tradition that we cut down the Christmas tree early on Friday morning. My mother told me that she had the same tradition when she was a little girl. She loved the tradition so much she carried it over to her own family. We would wake up, sometimes we would put on our snow gear, or might just put on jeans and a t-shirt because you know New England, whether it's not consistent every year or even throughout the days. My dad and my mom and my brother and I would hop in the truck and get some hot cocoa and dunks and a little snack before making our way to the Christmas tree lot. When we got there, it would be a fun way for us to find the best Christmas tree and convince one another we should bring it home. After much debate, we would find a perfect one and cut it down. Then we would load it in the truck's back and find a nice breakfast place to eat. It ends up always being such a great experience that when I have a family, I also want to have that same tradition. There are many different traditions out there in the world that many of us might not even know about. They have a certain feeling that sustains the family connection, giving us such a sense of belonging, celebrating family generations. More importantly, traditions create positive memories for your own children. Even if you don't have a family tradition, you can always create one. These are the reasons why I feel like you should have a family tradition if you have a family. Um, it can strengthen your family, create a connection between family members, links you to generations in the family, creates a feeling of closeness and togetherness, allows the family to spend special time together, gives kids a sense of belonging and identity.
there are also many ways that uh, family traditions get changed and I feel like that's important. Family traditions almost always change when parents, which is a sad, divorce. Due to changes in where kids live and how they spend holidays and birthdays, traditions may change a little or a lot. Some family traditions change over the years as your children get older. Good examples of changes due to older kids are bedtime stories and family movie nights. Other traditions change as your children grow and have families of their own. Opening gifts on Christmas morning and Easter morning egg hunts will take place at your grown children's houses instead of taking place at your own house. Sometimes families review long traditions and decide that one or more no longer fit their lifestyle. It's a good idea to talk about family and about tra any traditions that you may feel need to change. Weigh everyone's input and reasonings for the changes to make a decision. You may be surprised on how much you and your kids are attached to long sta standing traditions. If one family really wants to keep the tradition, it's probably not best to change it. Thank you for listening to my speech. <laughs>